Guys, Ed Walters here at Dark Traffic Golf Centre in Manchester. I've got uh, a driving tip today. Um, I've had recently a lot of guys come in who struggle to get the driver airborne. The strike is solid, so the numbers, the smash factor, their ball speed, everything is quite nice. But they struggle to get it airborne. And what they all have in common is the body position is set up. So the body position set up being in the wrong place, so they get too far forward or ahead of the ball a little bit when they come into impact. Now, when you're using a driver, because the club face is so straight, then a bit of shaft lean forward, and we've got no loft, and we just hit the ball low. So what we want to do, quick drill, is take our normal setup. And in position there, so we see a lot of people, a lot of weight moving forward. So as they make the backswing, they get forward, coming through ahead of it, hitting down, not getting the ball in the air. What we want to do is we want to feel like we are behind it a little bit. So if we look here, because the ball is positioned on the instep of my left foot, my central point here is behind the golf ball. We want to keep that behind the golf ball. Okay, so from there, I've got here, maybe 60% of my body weight is on my right side. That's going to help me stay behind it, not to get in front of it. So that's going to help me get the ball and hit it upwards. Push it with a little bit of loft. When you've got eight and a half degrees of loft on my driver, so I need to sweep it and push it upwards to get it airborne. Okay, so from here, we've got, you can see, a little bit of weight on my right side. You can see the angle there of my torso. So the angle of the torso staying behind is slightly tilted back. So we're going to make a nice swing, stay in here, feeling like I turn over the central point. So I'm turning behind it. And then as my body comes back and through, I want to stay here. So I want to be behind it with the body or impact as I sweep it away and into my finish. So we're going to stay behind it and just brush it up off the tee. Brilliant, little bit of draw as well. Nice solid contact, hitting it on the up, moving it forward. So from there, I stay behind it. It gives me the best opportunity to get the golf club in that position to impact so I can utilize what little loft I've got and get the ball to carry as far as possible. So if I carry it as far as possible, I can maximize my distance and hit it as far as I possibly can. Guys, give it a try. It will help your driving. Let me know how you get on with it. Post some comments below in the boxes. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. It's totally free to do so. Loads more content there. Loads more to come as well. Just click on the little button at the bottom of the screen. I'll take you to the homepage. Click the red subscribe button and it's done and dusted. Uh, you can catch me on social networks as well. The links are at the bottom of the screen. Guys, thanks for watching. Anything you need, let me know. Put it in the comments box and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.